Hey guys, I'm Adam and welcome to the Art of UAV. Uh, sorry I haven't done a video for a few weeks, one of them really busy and two had an epic crash with the Pro. Uh, out of my hands really, flying it through the sky, lost power, dropped out, smashed all the legs, bottom plate, props. No idea why, battery still had charge in it, battery was fine, the controller settings were fine, but yeah, lost power and it dropped out. So I had to get parts from China and then rebuild, so it's taken a little while for them to come through. But if anybody's had the same problem, drop a comment below because yeah, I don't know why I lost power. Um, today's video is really just sharing a couple of upgrades that I found that work really well with this. Uh, first one going back to when I opened the box, um, I wasn't happy with the props that came with it, but I found some awesome props giving you so much more performance, speed, and when you come into landing, so much more handling there. Uh, next one's not really an upgrade, but just want to show you where you can mount a GoPro or a GoPro session. I bought a 3D printed cube and we're going to strap that down and show you how that is. And the last one will just be uh, just an external alarm that you could add. It does come with an alarm in it, so when the battery's running low, it will alert you, but I don't really want to rely on that. And also, I kind of want to be able to set what limit I want my batteries to run down to. So I'm going to try and find some way to mount that today. Um, shouldn't cause any problems with your performance or waiting much, but it's worth having a second backup, really. So yeah, just a couple of upgrades. Um, so we'll get on the bench, I'll show you what I'm doing. Cool. Right guys, hopefully you can see this so I can get a little bit closer for you so you see what I'm doing. If you're not quite sure what I'm doing, just drop a comment and I'll answer your questions for you. So uh, yeah, I'll run through what we've got and what you need. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of all the items and where I've gone from and how much I paid. So yeah, let's just uh, start off with maybe the GoPro. Uh, this was the 3D printed cube that I picked up for a couple of quid on uh, Banggood. Uh, I've got a red one just to match what my colors are on my quad. Uh, you will need some straps. These come in five in a packet. Uh, red ones and black ones to match. Uh, you will need some double sided sticky tape. This is like a foam cushion sort of sticky tape. This is really good stuff. So, yeah, some of that and a pair of scissors. That's all you're going to need for your GoPro. Props. These props are really good. Um, they come with spacers, and you will need to put the right size spacer on, but I'll show you which ones I'm putting on in the video. So, you're going to need some props. These are your 6045s. Uh, and these are your e uh bolts. These fit perfectly on top of this quad. So yeah, I don't know if you can see them. But yeah, get yourself some of them and they will work really well. Uh, the alarm. So it's just, a, again, a couple of quid. Uh, just a, a little alarm. I'll show you where you need to plug in your battery and also it has a button on top for your settings. So yeah, we'll see. I've not mounted once this uh, quad before, so I'm hopefully I can find some space for this. And lastly, I just want to quickly go over this. This was in the first video when I unboxed it. I didn't. I wasn't quite sure what this was. It's an anti-slip mat for your battery. If you look in the back of this, um, even though it's got a strap, that battery moves around loads. So you know, you go too fast, it's going to fly out the back. If you break, it's going to go through and probably hit the back of your camera. Um, definitely need to keep this with you at all times because this is going to keep your battery in there. I nearly lost it in the field pulling out the battery. So make sure you get a couple of these as well. Um, but yeah, definitely you're going to need these. Anyway. That's that. I think we'll start off with the GoPro and then move on. Awesome. All right, guys. So mounting the GoPro. So yeah, uh, this is the uh, the cube. This is your front here. I don't you see that. That's your front. That's what the side looks like. Uh, so yeah, this is your bottom plate here. So slightly underneath here. Um, we're going to be actually mounting this on. Um, get these out of the way on the back here, um, back of the GPS unit. Originally with the old one, um, you used to have the front bit, so you could put your camera on the front. Well, they upgraded the Pro and made it a bit more stylish with this bit of plastic, so you actually have to mount it here. It doesn't affect your GPS or your mushroom antenna, so you're all right once you mount your GoPro here. So yeah, I'm going to try and get in there the best I can and just take you through. So first thing you want to do is get your, um, your cube and get your tape. Like I say, I'm just going to neaten this up quickly, just take a little bit of the edge off so the tape is a little bit straight. There we go. So that's nice and straight. Um, I'm quite lucky with this tape actually because the actual um, the width of the tape actually fits perfectly to the cube. So what you need to do is just take that tape right up to the edge and then just push that down. And then what we want to do is we just want to cut the excess off the tape. I know it seems a bit excessive having all that tape, but you know, it does come in handy for other things. Uh, so yeah, like I say, the bottom plate here, I'll just put the tape on the bottom and then I'm just gonna cut the excess off as tight as I can. If you've got a razor blade, it'll probably work a little bit better, but you know, scissors have done the job. So yeah, just cut the excess off. So again, there's your front. This little 
bit here you ignore, that's just your, your rise, and then your bottom plate is here, so you're actually cutting a bit of double-sided sticky tape just to fit perfectly on that bottom bit. All right, so once that's on, and nice and tight, you can now actually just remove the backing, like so. Try and get this down the first time, because you don't want to pull it off and do it again. And have to cut. Um, the good thing about this tape also as well, once it's on, it's really easy to peel off. So if you want to remove this, it's actually really easy to take away. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can see this now. So we're actually going to be taking the bottom and that's the front. So you're facing the front and we're going to actually butt it up as close as we can to the back end of this GPS unit. So I'm just going to put this down for a minute while I do that and I'll lift it up and show you. Push down on this so it's nice and tight. There we go. Right, okay. So that's on, and uh, now you can see it. Keeps now up against it. And that's now stuck on. So, yeah, that's that first bit. Um, what I would recommend is getting a uh, one of these uh, straps because it's just going to give it a bit more more strength and keep it down. So I think, you know, getting some of these is definitely worth getting because I mean, once you, if you drop this or falls, it's probably easy to take this still off. So yeah, some Eastern straps, just to match the color. These were cheap and uh, you get five in a packet. And right, so what you want to do, it's a little bit trickier to see where I'm going. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to take it this way. Um, I'm gonna just going to put it through the bottom of bottom of the, the actual cube itself. And in between here, actually, there's a little groove. You can actually feed this under and through. So we're gonna go back through. It's a little bit tricky, so I might have to put it down, but I'll see how I'll get on. Right, okay, so I'm now through the back here. <coughs> And then what you want to do is just pull it through a bit more. So it's kind of gone back through the cube, back under the actual board and near the motherboard, goes through there. And then you want to go back on yourself again. So what you want to do is clip it through your strap. So take it through. Pull that up nice and tight. And then you're going to go underneath where the battery is, battery port underneath here. I don't know if you can see that. So I've gone underneath here and I'm looping it back through. It's a little bit tricky, but it's worth putting it on. And then you're just bringing it back on yourself and then you're just gonna, it's gonna automatically stick and then just push it through so it's all nice and tight and neat. few minutes to get it through but yeah it's through now so yeah that's the other side that's nice and tight that's really stuck down that cube's not going anywhere i would put my session in there but i'm actually filming on it but yeah you get the picture um these little things when i first when i thought i put a cube in um my gopro i thought these were going to show up on the actual camera but they didn't so that was quite handy i thought they would but they don't they don't bleed onto the onto the camera so yeah, but yeah, that's the first part. So that's your, your mount and it fits perfectly on there. It's a, enough height and it doesn't interfere with anything, which is great. So yeah, that's that. Right, so the props is the next thing. So I'll quickly go over these. So these are your 6045, got some spaces in there. So we'll just get a packet open. Yeah, there's a close up. Nothing special, but they work really well. And these are your spacers. You get two packs. Um, sorry, two, yeah, two lots of them because obviously you're going to need one for each. Um, there is small, medium, um, and large, and extra large. Um, you're going to need the biggest, biggest spacer out of the packet to go over these. So make sure you get the biggest one. Just literally pull them off, snap them off, 
And what you're going to do is you're going to then put it over the actual motor. It will move a little bit, but once the bolt's on and the, the actual thing's on itself, it'll be fine. So put your spacer on. And then what you want to do, obviously, make sure you get the uh, the right way for for your motors. Um, so obviously this one goes on here. You probably get that in the instructions, and knowing which one you've done. Um, and then what you want to do is get a bolt. You get two silver, two black. What I recommend is putting your black on your your left. So I'll just quick close up, see if you can see that. So the black one, and then the silver one. So the black one goes on your front left. So I'm just going to screw it on. Okay, it's a few seconds just to get it, get it on. But there you go. It's now screwed on. Uh, you could get a little, uh, a little uh, adjuster on there just to tighten that up. But I mean, finger tight's pretty good. Um, so you screw in anti-clockwise on this side. All right, uh, I'll do another one on the front so you can see what I'm doing. So again, spacers uh, for the other side, the largest one. Snap that up, put the spacer straight over your motor. Next prop, straight down, and this one will be a silver. This is your right hand side, and that just screws on normal. And there you go, some awesome props. I'm gonna give you so much more performance than the uh, the ones will come with it. So yeah, that's that part. And we'll get on to the next bit. I'll just quickly put these on and then we'll go on to the next bit. Cool. All right guys, final step, which is the alarm. Um, just quickly go off that one. So you can see I've just put all the props on. Just did that just to speed up some time. So yeah, black, silver, silver, black. Just make sure your props are on the right way. Get them spacers down, get them uh, get them bolts on, and then that's ready to go. Already looking so much better. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're gonna do the alarm now. So yeah, just moving underneath. I hated the battery part on this. This is the, the biggest downfall with the whole whole quad itself. It's really awkward getting that battery in and out. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the alarm underneath here anyway. So I've just undone the strap, and we're gonna mount it around about here. If you can see that, just on the back end. So here's your alarm. You're getting a couple of quid, not much. Um, so battery. So the battery will go in under and connect to your quad. And then this little bit, basically, the black one is your negative and that's your positive. I don't know if you can see that. The red one's the positive and this side is the black one. And then this is your, uh, your alarm. So what you do is you put your black one closest to the left. So it just goes straight into here. So it goes in like that. That's nicely in. That'll also give you the readings at the top here. Just unplug that. There is a little button in here where you can get your nail. And you can keep doing different settings. So you can turn it off or you can set the volts. So you just go through and that'll alarm you um, once you, you, you run it low. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So just make sure the black runs to the left hand side of the actual thing. And the positive sits the furthest away. So that's that part. So yeah, you're gonna need your tape again, a pair of scissors, and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut a pad for the back end of the, the alarm. That fits, so just get some tape on there. Again, width-wise, that fits perfectly the size of what it is, cut the excess off, and then just sort of get in there and lean up as much as you can, just take all the rest off that's not needed, push down, so there you go, that's the back end of it, and then you're going to peel that off, you're going to make sure this part 
the actual bottom parts facing down the quad so it, it faces towards the camera and then obviously the battery hasn't got much lead so it's going to need to get to it as close as again and then just butt that up as close as you can to the back end of the frame so if you can see that now just pop that on just give that a push down and there you go there it is on there um, I'll just quickly show you that you've still got enough space with the strap and the battery, shall I? Just give me a few seconds to get this battery in as a nightmare. Battery's in. So I've just popped the battery in the back. And then your strap. We'll just go around underneath it and then over. There you go. So that's nice and tight. That's going to keep that secure under there. All you need to do is just put that in while you're putting the other one in and you're ready to go so there's your alarm fitted so yeah done props uh, camera casing upgrade and your battery alarm so yeah we'll go back up to the main camera and then just finish it off from there so a few little upgrades guys I'm um, sorry if it took a while to get through oh, it's quite hard doing it on camera when you're trying to craft things but um, yeah if you get any questions drop a comment below and I'll pick them up and I'll get back to you but the main upgrade here was the props um, as soon as you get these to the field you're going to be like, I should have swapped the old ones out a lot sooner. So hopefully it worked for you. I always carry my GoPro around, but the session actually fits on here really well. Um, and then there's just a backup alarm. You don't necessarily need this, but I kind of like to keep an eye on my batteries. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, hopefully that helps you. A couple of little bits that you can add to yours. Um, so, yeah. Happy flying, guys. Be safe. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.